video we learn to read, write, order and compare numbers up to 1 million. If you need to recap on how to write and read numbers up to 1000, go back to the entry 3 videos. So I've got a number here which I read as 1111. So this one here at the end represents the units or single pound coins if this was money. So that would be one pound, this would be 10 pounds, this would be 100 pounds, and this would be 1,000 pounds. How would we read this number? 2,536. Because this is the thousands place, this is the hundreds, and this is the tens, and this is the units. You've probably seen a comma that separates hundreds from the thousands and I always encourage you to use that comma and I'll use it myself because it makes our life easier when it comes to reading and writing numbers that are large. So we've got 2,536. Now, how do we read this? How do we read this? So, 4,036. So there are no hundreds, but we've got to have that zero because if you don't do that, then the four will come over here to make this a 400. But in fact, it was actually 4,000. And it's not the same to have um, 400 pounds as having 4,000 pounds. So this, well, this is why you put a zero there to hold the place. Similarly, you'd read this number as 4,006, whereas this number would be read as 4,030. So it's always worth remembering these labels at the top, so where or the position, where are the units, where are the tens, where are the hundreds and where are the thousands. Now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be trying to push this further, so I'm going to add a few more digits on this side so that we can try and read and write those numbers that are larger than these. So what I'm going to do here is I will add a one here. What is that value? Now, what I said before is that this separates hundreds from the thousands. So these are actually thousands. And we have three digits here. So up to three digits, we're going to say, we're going to call them thousands. So what does that mean? If I were to hide this, well, how would I read this number? It would be 11. So I'm going to say 11,111. So this is the units of the thousands. This is the tens of the thousands. So tens, thousands. So that is worth 10,000. So now if I add a one here, this is going to become 12,536. 64,036. 24,006, 74,030. So again, that's tens of the thousands. If I add one more digit, then similar pattern, 111,000 and 111. So this is the hundreds of thousands now. So notice the pattern, units, tens, hundreds, units, tens and hundreds of thousands. So this would be 612,536. And this would be 464,036. This would be 
324,006. This would be 174,030. What would happen if I change this into a zero? And again, I've got to hold the place because otherwise this one would go into the tens of thousands and that's not the case. This is 100,000. So I can read this as 104,030. Or I could read this as 100,030. Now, we'll push it with one more digit. But first of all, what would be that number that would be one less than a million? So if I continue adding up more and more, so let's say I have one, I have 900,000. I'm very close to a million, but not there yet. So the highest number before reaching a million is be 999,999. So if I add just one more, let's say pounds, if I add one more pound in here, this will become one million. And how do we write one million? So in groups of three, in groups of three. So this is one million, a one with six zeros. So the value of this digit here is a million. So this number here would be read as, again, put in the commas now because we put the commas after every three digits. Just like we did here, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma, and then one, two, three, comma, if you want to continue with larger numbers. So we got now one million, one hundred and eleven thousand, one hundred and eleven. And the next one is. 4 million, I see I've got two commas, so there must be 4 million. 4 million, 612,536. 8 million, 464,036. 3 million, 324,006. 9 million, 999,999. So this is the largest number we can have before we go to billions. But we won't look at billions in this video. We'll look at level two. So what would happen now if I had a zero here instead? How would I read this? So again, very similar to before, 3 million, 24,006. And this would be, Eight million four hundred and four thousand and thirty six, and this would be four million six hundred and ten thousand five hundred and thirty six, and this would be four million six hundred and ten thousand. That's it because I have no hundreds, tens, and units, so four million and six hundred and ten thousand. So this shows how to read and write numbers. Now we'll look at how to compare them. So let's compare the numbers that we have here. Which one is the biggest and which one is the smallest? So we've got 1 million, as we said, 1,111,111. 1 now which one is bigger out of these two? This is bigger because it's more than 1 million. This is just 1 million, but here I've got 100,000, I've got 10,000 as well, and I've got 1,000, I've got 100, I've got 10, 
and I've got a unit as well so one pound as well so this would be the smallest and this would come next now which one of these comes next I'll look at the millions first because they have the biggest value so if I have um, three million that means that I have more than a million more than two actually but this is less than four and less than eight million less than nine million so you look at the digit at the front first because they have the biggest value so this now is three million twenty four thousand and six so this would come next so this is the first from the smallest this is the second this is the third and the next one would be this one four million six hundred and ten thousand because four million is bigger than three million but it's smaller than eight million or nine million so eight million four hundred and four thousand and thirty six would come after that and finally is the nine million nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine so this is the order from the smallest to the biggest i'm going to change these numbers slightly now and um, reorder them again so if i take off some of these let's see what happens now the order will change not all of these are millions now so we've got one million one million one hundred and eleven thousand and one hundred and eleven we've got ten thousand here we've got four hundred and four thousand and thirty six so that tells me because it's got more digits and more digits in this direction have a bigger value so we've got 404,000 as compared to 10,000 only so this has got a bit bigger now let's order them from the biggest to the smallest so the biggest one is the one with more digits and a bigger digit at the front so if we compare them this is a million this is more than a million this is three millions so really this is the highest because none of these reach a million anyway so we've got this is the highest one now which one would come next again we stick with the millions we've got more digits here greater value so comparing them to as we said this one would be bigger because it's more than a million and this is just a million but this is bigger than 10,000 this is bigger than 404,036 and this is bigger than 9,999 so which one now out of these three is the biggest again so this is 9,000 and something this is 10,000 actually the difference between them two is just one so one pound would be the difference between them two so that's 9,999 this is 10,000 this is 404,000 so this comes next and then this and then finally this one so what we looked at is which ones has which one of the numbers has more digits and then comparing those digits like these ones had most of the digits but but there we have one there we have a one and that was a three so we stuck with a three then comparing these two which have the same digit if we looked at the next one this is a zero but this is a one so this must be bigger and then we looked at the one that has more digits out of the three and obviously out of these three it was this one and then this one and finally nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine this should help you with uh, working out amounts and reading and writing ordering and comparing numbers up to a million and you'd be lucky if that was pounds but it could be anything else really it could be grams that we're talking about kilograms whatever we're working with 
these numbers are always useful at this level.